All right, guys, so welcome to another video. Um, today, I'm gonna do another rod review. This time, I'm actually gonna get to fish with it. Um, I just picked this up today. So what I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys is the uh, Temple Fork Outfitters Trout Panfish 2 Series. Um, this is a rod I've been wanting to get a hold of for a while. Um, personally, I just went with the uh, six foot one piece, the ultralight. Um, it's a fast action. It, it's a great rod. And I wanted to do rod reviews because here, it, I think it's important to give people like accurate and firsthand information. So instead of just writing a review, doing these videos on them, I feel like it could, even if I help one person that's in the market for a new rod, I feel like that's really important. Um, that's something I wanna help out with. And like I said, if this video could either change your mind. It could say, oh yeah, that's a rod that I want. Or maybe it's like, okay, maybe that's something I didn't want about that rod. Um, so I'm gonna go in-depth review with this. And then of course, I'm gonna fish with it. Um, I'm gonna just head out to, here in Pennsylvania, it is trout season. Um, there's a stream like two miles down the road from my house that there's stocked fish. Um, I don't have time, unfortunately, today with school to go and fish a wild trout stream. So just to get on fish, that's where I'm gonna be going today. I um, should be able to pick up a couple fish just real fast, just to show you what the rod fishes like after this review. So the first thing with this rod, um, I'm definitely impressed with the color scheme. Uh, I definitely thought that that was a much better look than the first one. I like that light green. Um, I've always been a fan of that color when it comes to rods. Another thing I've already picked up on when I actually put my reel and tied a small jerk bait onto this rod is the hook hold right here. Um, that's awesome. I know there's rods that have hook holds down um, near the split cork and that always bothered me. Um, that's when I really start hooking stuff in my car. But where this one's at, I mean, I can very easily put that, you know, I can slide that in my SUV and it's not gonna hook into anything, that's huge. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the reel seat and the split cork. Um, a very interesting design. I've never actually seen one that, at least that I own, where this is actually your screw in and screw out reel seat. Um, that's, that's really cool on this rod. Um, I really like that. That makes it easy because, you know, the more you fish, the more you're switching out reels, the more you're switching out rods with different reels. This makes it really, really easy for me to just switch on if I want a different reel on this, which I mean, I probably won't, but that makes it absolutely awesome. Um, the other thing I've noticed too, I mean, just like the last TFO with the fast action, like when I'm fishing with that, I mean, that's perfect sensitivity. Um, I've actually taken the first series of this rod steelhead fishing. So I plan on doing the same with this. And I know most people are gonna say, yeah, use a noodle rod or a fly fish for them or this or that. And that's, that's awesome. But my preference for steelhead is actually a six foot ultralight. Um, the one piece is even better because I can continue to cast and not have to worry about, you know, putting this back together. That's personally why I like one piece rods better. Um, I also do know that when, in some rods, not in all, but in some rods, that two piece actually causes a weakness in your blank. So I always go with one piece for that reason. If you're a two piece guy, that's more than fine. Like whatever, whatever rod fits for you. But I paired this with the usual. Um, I really only fish Daiwa reels. Um, I feel like I get a great drag. I mean, some of these reels have like 23, 24 pound drags um, with as light as it is as an aluminum reel. You're not gonna really find that combination. I mean, Shimano is good, but you're gonna pay more money. Uh, this Daiwa Legalis was only like $70 and it's a 2,500 and I've had this reel for probably, I would say five, six years now. And you know, as long as you keep up with regular maintenance, you're not gonna have to worry about anything with it. Um, Another thing I definitely liked about the rod is it seems like they improved the guides from last time. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they actually improved the guides from last time. The only thing I could really complain about on the first series of trout panfish was after a while, the guides would actually start to expand because they weren't ceramic. 
um, they're actually a metal alloy. So by actually fusing those better together this time, I think they've eliminated that problem, which is huge. So it's all around, it looks to me like it's a great upgrade. I mean, the cork is actually, it's a better quality cork than you get on some other rods. Um, I know some rods with cork is, kind of looks like wood chips. Um, this cork does not look like that. It feels better than that. And I don't like, I love split cork um, rods, but this is a perfect size. Like to where I'm fishing, I don't like a long rod in the back. I, in fact, if I have one that's too long, sometimes I end up cutting it because it just, it bothers me. But this is a perfect, perfect size. And it doesn't look like they ended up giving up on the blank when they split it either. It actually, it looks pretty darn good right there. So I'm definitely ready to fish with this rod. Um, I'm gonna see you guys on the stream. I have a limited amount of time, but that's what we're gonna do today is we are gonna try to give you guys a better look at that rod there. And that's what we're gonna be fishing with today. So I'll see you guys on the stream. There we go. Oh shit, we lost him. We'll probably get another one right in here, guys. And this rod just feels incredible. I'm leaving it in that heavy current there. Almost positive I'm gonna end up picking up another fish. There, guys. And what? Down here. That's the first fish on the uh, TFO there. Nice little brook trout. He's a stalker, but hey, that's all right. We'll take these. There he goes. I mean, the versatility of this rod is just unreal. Um, it'd be a great, like I had said, it would be a great, even light finesse, crappy trout. It just, this rod absolutely performs unbelievable. I mean, I was impressed with their first version, but this second version too just feels like a little bit of an upgrade compared to the first just doing absolutely incredible here like I had said um, I've got just a 2500 with six pound fluorocarbon just throwing a small little jerk bait here honestly you can let a lot of the current do your work as you're fishing that downstream there we go another one. Oh, that's a good one that's a good one. Oh, it's a rainbow. Let me get down there. All right. So there's rainbow number one on the day. This said nothing huge, but we're getting some nice little, nice little stock trout. This rod is just, oh, I can't even say enough about it. It just feels so good with these fish. It really does. All right, let's see if we can pull out another. And Got another one. Oop. He popped off. <laughs> Looks like a lot of the fish are stacked right underneath that log. And I'm just honestly just going like this, twitching under it to try and pick those fish up and it's been working. I missed a pretty good one here earlier. 